Bob James and his sons farm over 400 acres in Fayette County, Kentucky. Uh, we've been here 174 years this year. When you farmed the same ground for 174 years, you pay attention to the topsoil. Keeping your soil in place is the first step to productive agriculture, as well as clean water. Well, we were no-tilling for 25 years. The James family had a long history of no-till cropping. After seeing a demonstration of how cover crops could enhance water infiltration, they decided to give it a try as well. Their farm has seen increased yields, improved soil organic matter, and less runoff. The, the, the soil is, with the cover crop is just, it's just getting better. As you see these soybeans here, they're, they're pretty nice soybeans. I see the yields increasing every year with, my, with cover crop and overall, and we're doing it on rented land. The costs associated with using cover crops can keep some farmers from trying it, but cost share programs may be available to reduce this financial burden. If you're improving your soil and your soil health improving, that'll improve your economic, make your bottom line better. It's expensive and the first time or two you do it, you kind of scratch your head and you think, oh man, I don't know whether this, this is worth it or not. Uh, Time, time you buy the seed and either drill it all in or, or broadcast it, whatever, either way it's, it's expensive. And uh, a lot of people are never going to do it just because of the expense, but if they just bite the bullet and go on and do it, uh, they'll start seeing a return. Cover crops can reduce fertilizer input costs, improve water infiltration rates, and reduce runoff leaving the farm. These benefits, along with improved yields, demonstrate a water quality best management practice that also improves the economic bottom line. When we had 10 inches of rain in, in a two week period and the water run off and you could see the water coming from our farm just happened to be entering the creek in one place and you could look at the creek and it had a stripe in it. It, was, it had a line in it. Half of the creek one way was clean and the other half was pretty murky. If the soil is staying put and your nutrients are staying put, and when you have water runoff, the water's got to be cleaner. It's just, just a fact. Practices such as no-till, cover crops, and conservation cropping sequences that are part of the James's Ag Water Quality Plan will keep the farm producing for the next 175 years. Uh, we have so many different practices and ways of, uh, of agriculture that are all being tested and modified and improved upon every day. And so I feel I'm happy that our, uh, our farm is engaged in that as well, that we're, we're trying the soil health system, we're moving on, uh, moving the soil quality up and trying to get to uh, a better way of doing things. I think that as farmers it's our responsibility to be the stewards of the land and take care of it and make sure that it's there for the future. Mr. James' sons are the next generation to continue conservation practices on the family farm. This includes updating their ag water quality plan to document their progress as new practices are developed and implemented. And so I became aware of the ag water quality plan and how our practices on the farm impact and how that uh, plan, that paper will serve as sort of a map for our farm saying this is what we've done, this is what we hope to do, and it basically codifies our goals a little bit. You know, used to, when I was a kid, we'd do a little fishing in the creek for minnows or whatever, but we'd fish a little bit, and you'd always have to go hunt fishing worms, and that was always a problem to go find fishing worms. Well, it's not here. You can go out and just dig right out in the middle of the field and just dig up fishing worms and get a bucket full in a few minutes. In one handful of soil, you can find Three, three to five fishing worms in almost every handful. Life in the soil is often an indication of a healthy environment. The Jameses have combined sound cropping production practices with sensible soil and water management approaches to protect water quality and enhance their bottom line. This sets the stage for sustainable production that will carry well into the future. This farm has so much history in our family that going back to 1842, so we're just uh, happy to be a part of it and we're going to take it into the future with us. To learn more about developing and implementing a Kentucky Ag Water Quality Plan for your farm, contact your local conservation district, cooperative extension service office, or visit our website.